Hello and welcome to the madness that is me selling my soul to the YouTube algorithm by trying to make a tier list video. Um, in actuality, I'm just putting out my very ill-informed and unasked for opinion on the internet about who should have been seated where in the BattleBots 2021-2022 regular season. I will preface this all by saying I am an idiot. I have never built a combat robot before in my life. Um, the most inexperienced person on any one of these teams could probably like tell me why I'm wrong and they would be very much correct. But I wanted to make a fun video on what I think it should be. Take my opinion with a grain of salt. So first things first, uh, Endgame should be somewhere right... Yeah, no, Endgame definitely top spot. No doubt about that. Um, I think whoever won between Endgame and Sawblaze was going to be the number one seed. Um, the elephant in the room, in my opinion, is Robot at number two. Uh, I find it an odd that the number two robot it only got two fights and did like it was there was a quick knockout against a Owen 2 robot in overhaul I could be missing a fight but losing to both robot and blip it's it's not very strong win and then defender was a little bit better but it, well, I wouldn't say that was a good showing for robot in that fight either um, Whiplash, definitely a top 4 robot, no doubt about that. Sawblaze, although I agree it's a top 4 robot, I am of the opinion that things should be a lot more black and white with BattleBots. Um, like, judgment calls are a pain, that's why there's a scoring system and not just a, a red square, blue square, willy nilly thing where it's just, I think this person won. It, it makes it a little, for a little bit more order, my opinion. The top spots should all be taken by 3 and 0 robots, and then as you go down the line, it should be then all the, in this case, the 2 and 0 robots, then the 2 and 1 robots, the 1 and 1 robot singular in hijinks, and then the 1 and 2 robots. Um, I, it, it will make for some decisions which I don't think would, there'll still be some times where. Like, Sawblaze should not be ranked that low. But if you set a standard for wins are the defining factor for if you get in or not, and then strength of schedule is is to break the ties on if you can only have four one and two robots in, I just think that's the, the easiest way to go about that and have some consistency and not get some of the weird decisions like P1 not making it in. I will say I commend BattleBots, like, for having P1 versus Hypershock. Like, I don't know if that's on purpose, but it is the funniest thing. I'm so looking forward to that match. Um, as for the robots that are in the play-ins, um, I pretty much agree with what they did there. Um, I think Hydra, Scorpios, and Malice all very much deserve to be play-in robots. Although Defender, by my token, I don't think should be in that position. Now. I've shown off what it is, and uh, now I'm going to show off what I think it should be. Um, mm, top two are not really shocks, I would say. There was four 3 0 robots, if I'm not mistaken in my research. Um, I think that as far as who's the most impressive, I think this is the most, the, the, the best way to put it. Um, glitch. I think outshine, outshone Blip in its three fights. I don't think many people would argue with that. Um, it, it had probably the least impressive win of the season, maybe, that wasn't a YouTube fight in its Ghost Raptor victory, but absolutely tearing through its other fights. Like That's, that's pretty impressive. Um, Blip, 3-0. Good showing. Uh, I need to see it against a... Uh, a real, like, I gotta see Blip against a horizontal, just to see how it takes hits, because it didn't take much hits in the Lockjaw fight, but, yeah. As far as the 2-0 robots, 
In my opinion, Ribot was not the strongest looking 2 0 robot, although I could be just full of crap. Uh, Uppercut, I think, had a great win against Gigabyte and a very entertaining win against Free Shipping. Uh, Copperhead with a uh, two good fights, I'd say. I think uh, Rotator and Tantrum are a little bit flip flop on which I think is more impressive with how they've been doing. But I think that my stuff is sort of reasonable for the way I'm doing it. Two and one robots, I think, obviously, Saw Blaze is the, 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 the shoe in for the best of the two and one. I don't know who would disagree with that. Um, and that split in the middle, in like up near the top of two and one, that is where 16th seed, 17th seed. So that's kind of where the split off is on top half, bottom half. Um, there's a couple, like I tried to keep robots that beat another robot above them. For example, P1 Valkyrie or um, Mad Catter and Yeti with how they're seated. The only thing that I don't have like that, uh, unless I'm going to deep dive this, is, um, oh, I guess Captain Shredderator and Tombstone as well. I guess I missed that one. Um, but Riptide and Defender, just because um, I just think Riptide's had a better showing in their other fights. Um, and that's kind of the, the really obvious part about this. And then we have something very weird, as I have... 2 and 1 and above is your top 30. I say, because I am insane, we have two playing matches that are three ways. It's a terrible idea. Like, absolutely terrible. But I propose hijinks, malice, and deep six versus, like, like as a three-way match. Like, the two biggest, like, the two longest blades probably in the competition. I have not measured. I mean, Bloodsport might have them beat with something else, but two of the longest blades. The thickest horizontal ever, maybe. I don't know. Um, I just think that's fun. And then Hydra, Scorpios, and Claw Viper. I just think that would be a fun three minutes of pushing, shoving, suplexing, and flipping. Like, you can't go wrong there. Uh, I would hasten to say that uh, Deep Six, Hijinks, and Malice would be for the 32nd seed. So they would have to face Endgame because any one of those fights would be amazing. And then Scorpios, Hydra, and Claw Viper would go on to face... Uh, uh, the name escapes me. Whiplash. Derp, derp. I just think that's fun. Uh, other fun things we could do would be uh, Captain Shredderator versus Glitch. I would love to see how that balances off that little peak. Uh, Defender and Blip. Two rookie teams from a, two rookie robots from established teams. That could be fun. Um, Witch Doctor Uppercut. That's fun. Copperhead and Valkyrie. That's fun. Uh, we get a rematch of Rotator and Tombstone. The, the, the little, little, little puncher bot versus Huge. That could be fun. I mean, this is just so many fun things. Uh, Lucky and Ribot. Gigabyte and Hypershock. That's kind of mean. Shatter and Ice Wave. I think that's a recipe for entertainment. Cobalt Jackpot. He, I'm, I'm so sorry, P1, but P1 and Sawblaze, Minotaur and Yeti, Bloodsport and Black Dragon, which is, I think, a rematch from the first Bloodsport season, unless I'm getting that mistaken. And then the driver of Lynx versus Heavyweight Lynx. So I think that's just a very fun way of doing this. Um, I could very well be wrong in the, on what's fun or not, but this is what I would say the 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 correct tier list would be. So I hope you enjoyed my 
horrible unscripted ramblings. And I will see y'all in the midst of the madness again.